Welcome to today's presentation. In this video, we are going to look at KCSC, the year 2016, paper 1, question 20. The question is on vectors. In the diagram below, the coordinates of points A and B are 1, 6 and 15, 6 respectively. Point N is on OB such that 3 ON is equal to 2 OB. Line OA is produced to L such that OL is equal to 3 OA. So the diagram as described is here. Then for part A, find the vector LN. Part B, given that a point M is on LN such that LM to MN is 3 to 4. Find the coordinates of M. Then lastly, part C, if line OM is produced to T such that OM to MT is 6 to 1, Roman 1, find the position vector of T, and then Roman 2, show that points L, T, and B are collinear. Now beginning with part A, find the vector LN. So we are supposed to determine the vector LN. From this diagram, given the origin O, all these vectors O, B, O, L are directed away from the origin. And for part A, we are required to determine the vector LN. That means for LN, we are supposed to have vector ON minus OL. That is the position vector of N minus position vector of L. ON minus OL. From the previous part, we were told that 3ON is equal to 2OB. That means that if we divide both sides by 3, we will have ON being equal to 2 over 3OB. Therefore, ON becomes 2 over 3OB as a position vector is 156 arranged vertically and this therefore becomes 10 4 so if you multiply this we get 10 4 2 over 3 by 15 is 10 2 over 3 by 6 is 4 this just implies that n is 10 that is the coordinates of n. We can come and write it here. 10, 4. We can apply the same procedure to determine L. Already we have OL given us 3 OA. So we can say OL is equal to 3 OA, but OA, we can use the coordinates here. And now O as a vector is 1, 6. And that means O L will become 3, 18. So L is 3, 18. Let's just have it here. 3, 18. But for part A, we were just required to determine O N and OL in order to determine LN. Don't worry, these values here will still help us in the coming parts of the question. So ON we already have as 10, 4 minus OL. OL is 318. And therefore, when we get the difference, this becomes 7, 
negative 14. And that is ln as required for part A. For part B, given that a point M is on ln, so let's have it here. Let's have a point M on ln. So given that point M is on ln, such that Lm to Mn is 3 to 4. Lm to Mn, that is Lm 3, Mn 4. We are required to determine the coordinates of M, find the coordinates of M. Now without even referring to the diagram, I want us to apply the ratio theorem to determine the coordinates of M. If we have Lm to Mn and we are given the ratio as 3 to 4, then we can first of all determine the position vector of M, that is OM, and applying the ratio theorem, we will have to approach it this way. So we say we can match 4 with L and then match 3 with N so that OM becomes 3 over 7, 3 over 7, that is 3 plus 4 gives us 7, and then we have that of the position vector of n, so 3 over 7 of O n, and then we'll have to add that to 4 over 7 of O l. Fortunately, O n and O l we had worked out up here, so we have O n and O l. So let's just substitute. O m is equal to 3 over 7 of O n. O n we worked out as 10 for. Plus 4 over 7 O l. O l we have as 3, 18. Now, when we work out these, we are going to get 6, 12. That is OM. Now, remember, this is the position vector of M, but you are required to determine the coordinates of M. So, as coordinates, we'll have point M as 6, 12. So, we write it horizontally, just as shown. But C, if line OM is produced to T such that OM to MT is 6 to 1. So let's go back to the diagram. We are told that if OM is produced to point T, so let's do that. We have line OM and it is produced to a point T. So if we mark this point T, then OM to MT, we are told, is 6 to 1. So OM is 6 and MT is 1. Then we are required to find the position vector of T. From this diagram, we have OM in 6 parts. And then OT is in 7 parts. That is 6 plus 1. So, using the ratios, we can determine OT in terms of OM. OT is 7 parts. OM is 6 parts. So, let's write this. We can have OM to OT being equal to 6 to 7. Remember O up to M is 6 parts. O up to T we have 
seven parts. Now I'm relating OM to OT because already we have OM up here. So it will be easier to use that to determine OT. Well, remember a ratio as this can be expressed as a fraction so that we have OM over OT is equal to 6 over 7. Because you are interested in the position vector of T, that is OT, we can make it the subject here. OT will therefore become 7 over 6 OM. And therefore, if we substitute the value of OM, that is 6, 12 here, we'll have OT becoming 7 over 6 of 6, 12. And this is 7, 14. So the position vector of T is 7, 14, just as worked out there. Finally, in Roman 2, we are to show that the points L, T, and B are collinear. In other words, we are to show that the points L, T, and B are lying on a straight line. Just as we have it in the diagram, we are to show that the point L, T, and B all lie on a straight line. So in order to achieve that, just remember we have L, T, and B. The coordinates of L we determined as 318. T, we already have 714. So if we have it as coordinates, we have 714. And B, we had in the diagram as 15, 6. So in order to show that these points are collinear, we are to identify a pair of vectors from this line, LB. And for my case, I'll use LT and TB. The first condition is to show that LT is parallel to TB. That is, vector LT is parallel to TB. And thereafter, we will also be required to identify a common point, just as we can see the common point in LT and TB is point T. So how do we show that LT is parallel to TB? We simply show that LT is a scalar multiple of TB, that is TB multiplied by a scalar. So the task here is to determine the value of K. Now, LT will be vector OT minus vector OL. So to save on time, we can just have OT, which is 714 minus OL. OL we had somewhere up here. OL is 318. So we'll have to subtract that. 3. 18 and then we equate that to ktb ktb and tb is vector ob minus vector ot so ob is 15 6 minus ot ot again we have 7 14 and this should give us 7 minus 3 is 4, 14 minus 18 is negative 4. And then on the right hand side we have 15 minus 7 is 8. So outside we have k. And then 6 minus 14 is negative 8. So whether we choose to use the first row or the second row, any of these will give us the value of k. If we take the first row, 4 is equal to 8k. And therefore, k is a half if you divide both sides by 8. 
Now, having determined the value of k as a half, we can come and substitute it back here. So, we can show that lt is equal to a half tb. Remember, we had lt is equal to ktb, but k is a half. So, we have this. So, this implies that lt is parallel to tb. That is, we have the scalar a half, and we also can see that there's a common point T, so T is a common point. And hence, the points L, T, and B are collinear. And so, we come to the end of the solution to this problem. I want to thank you for staying with me till this end. Thank you for watching.